Hi, I'm Corey Parker. Hi, I'm Simon Goo. My name's Rich Saloon. I'm Garrett Steinbeck, and we'll be doing the Bernoulli equation. The equation is from Bernoulli's principles, which are named after Daniel Bernoulli. Bernoulli's principles state that for the flow of a fluid with negligible viscosity, a change in the fluid's vis velocity occurs with either a change in pressure or in potential energy of the field, or both. In other words, the principle gives a relationship between velocity, pressure, and poten potential energy at two different points in a flow field. There are several forms of the Bernoulli equation that relate velocity, pressure, and potential energy of a fluid depending on the type of flow. The Bernoulli equation we discussed in class is a simple form of the Bernoulli's principle equation for flow of an incompressible fluid. The Bernoulli equation is derived from the mechanical energy balance equation when there is no work being done on the system and there is no friction present in the system. We can remove these two terms from the mechanical energy balance equation and we're left with the Bernoulli equation. The Bernoulli equation can even be simplified further in certain situations. For example, if there's no height difference between the two points being looked at or if both of the two points are at the same pressure. Another form of the Bernoulli equation that describes each variable in terms of length is obtained by dividing the, every term by the gravitational constant, and this form is called the head form of the Bernoulli equation. Once we have the Bernoulli equation, uh, some examples that we can apply it to would be flow in tanks, thin pipes, or thin flow channels. For this class, we deal mainly with flow through pipe. Here are some visualizations of the various cases that we can have. First, in all cases, we can assume incompressible and steady state conditions within the system from when we derived the mechanical energy equation. In the first case, the points being considered are equal height from the reference level established here. In the next case, uh, the tank is open to the atmosphere and so is the end of the pipe right here and right here. Um, since they're open to the atmosphere, we, they both equal each other and can be canceled. Finally, when a point of reference has low enough velocity, it can be assumed to equal zero. This is because the other contributing terms in the equation are much larger compared to the velocity, and that would be 0.1 right here at the tank surface. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something from it, or not, but deuces. Thanks for watching. And we're gonna let it burn, burn.